Hey guys, Sideways Gear Guys here. We're moving on from the party platter now and on to the Endeavor archetype. Uh, that board is surprisingly great in many conditions, even beside the fact it has a swallowtail. It's kind of looking at first striking that it wouldn't be good everywhere. Uh, it's one thing that's kind of uh, shocked me as I've taken it in a fast variety of places and the smooth ability, turnability of this thing is crazy and fast terrain. I haven't spent a ton of time on it, but I did put it through its paces at, on it for a whole morning at Mount Seymour. Uh, we rode some tight gullies, some side hits, some tree runs, and this board felt good in every situation I put it into. Being smooth is, is what the board's about. The big nose, the taper it has, and the camera profile, really good mix of what it can take. Uh, where it can take itself and the deep snow it doesn't vibrate around very much it really initiates the turn very smoothly and finishes it really smoothly and that's kind of like a big thing for that board you can carve the crap out of this board uh, throw it throws deep trenches and you can really feel that tail load up and spring out when you're coming in and out of those turns it, uh, it is super quick edge to edge, so when you're in the flats, when you're fooling around, uh, it's a blast. And it's being that way, you can really push the back end around and it actually feel it rides a little bit smaller. I found that you need to ride it from their reference points back like half inch to really get the proper riding style that you want on the board. I wrote it per Sev's reference, and uh, I think it was bang on. It uh, it felt great. It did pump through rollers. It slashed. It carved. It uh, it was it was super fun to ride. Yeah, and as well, you can take it to the park. I have 50-50'd it, switch 50-50'd it, and had a real good time. You know, doing bonks and side hits. It's you know, go grab one, go for a spin, hit your demo days, and you know, go resort to your local shops.